Hey guys, how's it going? So my book, Heal Thyself, Embracing Our Natural Diet for Optimal Health is finally available on Amazon. This book um, took me about two years to write and uh, it's a big accomplishment for me. You know, I've, it's always been my dream to write a book. I always knew I would write a book and I never knew what it would be about and I never expected it to turn into this crazy health journey or, you know, or for things to progress the way they did. But here I am and I wanted to share a little bit about it today because a lot of people are assuming they're like, oh, what? how'd you write a whole book? <laughs> um, how'd you write a whole book about eating fruits and vegetables? I'm like, actually, it's not really about that like that's not really what it's all about don't make assumptions please <laughs> so first of all i'll tell you there are insights in this book from lauren whiteman nat ferris um from professor spira and uh that's all there and I want to share the table of contents with you. I'm not going to make this a long video. Maybe I'll, you know, do a couple parts or something. I don't know. But the table of contents. The first uh, chapter is, well, first it's about the author. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Tell you a little bit about myself. Second chapter, well, the first chapter is the introduction. Um, I think it's a fairly interesting intro. I can just give you the beginning line uh, for, the, for the introduction. <laughs> Uh, what's going on in our world? Why is there so much confusion about health and healing? Even the so-called experts can't agree on how to support the body's natural healing abilities or how to attain and maintain good health. So that's that's the introduction, but I mean, there's a lot going on in the intro. Uh, chapter two is my healing success story. So I talk about, you know, what I went through, what symptoms I suffered with, um, how I healed myself, um, my trials and errors, because I mean, 10 years ago, there wasn't as much information. There wasn't as many people doing it. Like now it's just exploded and it's amazing and it's great. And there's so many people and so many influencers and, and, and whatnot. But you know, 10 years ago, it wasn't as crazy. Chapter three is Dr. Robert Young. Now, a lot of you may not know who Dr. Robert Young is and um, it doesn't mean just because I'm including chapters about certain doctors or, uh, because I do have various chapters on different doctors and plant-based experts and whatnot, but, uh, it doesn't mean that I necessarily agree with everything, but I do have a chapter on him because he, his, uh, writings was the first writings I ever read that introduced me into the world of like, maybe we don't need meat for health. Maybe we don't need eggs and dairy, actually. They're probably harmful for our health, and I didn't know that. I was living on a farm. I was producing, well, I wasn't. The animals were producing all these products, and I was involved with it, and uh, I thought that I had to do that for health, and I didn't like doing it, to be honest. I mean, it's not, it, it goes against everything. Our, it goes against our species, like, appropriate dietary, um intake like what we're meant to do it's just it's all wrong and it felt all wrong but society and everybody was just so proud of the young farmers and you know and then you need raw milk and you need no 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 my health kept spiraling downward and getting worse and that became apparent anyway so dr robert young's chapter three chapter four is about professor arnold Arrett chapter and you know it's an amazing chapter it's about Arnold Errett and how he you know about him and his personal story and what he did and also my experience so my ex my experience with all these different um methods and and plant-based healers and doctors and and because I went through a lot, you know, I didn't have all the correct information right off the bat. I didn't just like walk into this and like, Ooh, and, and you know, did it perfectly right away. I went through a lot of trial and error and I did get some wrong, not wrong, but just information that wasn't serving me as well. And, you know, I did extended juice cleanses and certain things that, you know, I wouldn't recommend anyone to do. 
And because I made mistakes, these mistakes, you know, other people can learn from them, from them and, and, and uh, they can skip, you know, going through a couple of years of trial and error before they get it right. Um, so then I have a chapter on Dr. Robert Morris. I have a chapter on Dr. John McDougall. I have a chapter on natural hygiene, um, Dr. Joel Furman. And then chapter nine is dealing with headaches and unwanted symptoms because that was the main like I dealt with excruciating migraines and headaches all the time. I was just always out. It just ruined like my life. I missed out on so much. Um, then chapter 11 is comparing different approaches. So I compare all the, the other plant-based doctors and whatnot. I compare their different approaches and where they agree, where they disagree and things like that. It's a com comparison uh, chapter. Then I have chapter 12 is making healthy food swaps. Chapter 13 is steps towards health and healing. So different steps that you can take towards uh, elevating your health and improving your health because it doesn't just happen overnight. I mean, our health issues don't just build overnight. Our health issues take many years to develop and to undo everything and to walk backwards. Um, you know, it requires time and it requires step-by-step -step approach for a lot of people. A lot of people aren't like extremists like I am, where when I learned about this information, living on a farm, um, I stopped eating meat, eggs, and dairy overnight. Like as soon as I learned, I was like, kind of like, yes, I don't have to eat this disgusting stuff anymore. You mean this stuff's not healthy? I just, I learned it so deeply. And because I was so involved in it, you know, you know, like collecting the chicken eggs every day, um, just so involved in it. I, uh, just dropped it overnight and I made sure to find good homes for all the animals and I was just so happy and more not happy because it was a huge undertaking just relieved but everything changed everything changed and I did everything overnight it was crazy anyway so chapter 13 yeah steps towards health and healing I said chapter 14 is a collection of inspiring quotes because I just love quotes they help and they say so much in so little um, chapter 15 is health concerns simplified. So a lot of the typical health concerns that a lot of people have, you know, like where do you get your protein? Well, that's probably one of them. <laughs> um, and then chapter 16 is, you know, my thoughts and words. It's titled Save the Planet, Heal Thyself. That's what I was originally going to title the book, Save the Planet, Heal Thyself. But I don't even know if we're on a planet. Just kidding. <laughs> I just, I think embracing our natural diet uh, for optimal health is more uh, in line and you know health is the result of healthy living we don't need to push ourselves to extremes we don't need to get into specific cleanses or herbs or any of this stuff all that stuff only serves to kind of tax the body enervate the body push the body just it's health results from healthy living so when we learn the healthy living practices then health will result over time and that's what it took me a long time to learn what they were exactly because I thought doing a juice cleanse was healthy uh, well in nature there aren't any juicers and there aren't you know other humans pushing themselves through these extended juice cleanses you know the, the, that doesn't build healthy habits I'm not trying to bash juicing I did juicing it's just it's just that a lot of people think that that's like the ultimate healthy thing you can do and it's actually not that health promoting sure it gives your digestive a rest and sure it's a lot healthier than whatever you're doing in a sense but at the same time it's still not healthy living it's still not going to give you the results that you really truly desire um, you're going to get the results through living healthfully and day after day doing certain healthy um, living practices and eating certain types of foods, you know, and and so that's that's how we build our health, plain and simple. And you know, so I discuss all the information in my book. Um, I encourage you to pick it up on Amazon. I'll leave the links below. And uh, if you want to join our Terrain Model Diet Support Group, that's also still going ongoing every month. Um, it's our own private community between Nat Ferris, Lauren Whiteman, and myself, 
and uh, we spend a lot of time there, you know, helping to guide people towards health and, and uh, you know, teaching them what we wished we had learned or known in the beginning, you know, because we've all been roughly, you know, about 10 years on this path. So um, there's just, you know, that that's the whole thing. We're, we're here to help each other, right? And I'm here to help you uh, heal or maintain your health or just elevate your health because finally, you know, I'm not saying I have all the answers, but I have a lot of the answers. And it took me a lot of trial and error to uh, gather them all up and to live them and to go through them. And, and uh, you know, I started when I was, I learned all the, I learned, I started learning about health when I was 35. Here I am, 45. And sometimes I just feel like I'm just getting started, but you know, I feel really good and uh, I feel really good about this book and I just hope it helps, you know, I just hope it helps people and uh, thank you to everybody that has supported me so far. You know, I've, I've tried to support people for a long time, for the last 10 years. Um, you know, for the first five years I did consultations for free, I didn't even charge. And uh, that was part of my education, though, because I, I learned a lot in those five years. Um, I learned a lot from people, and they were willing to open up to me. And, and uh, I just learned so much um, because, because that's what we're here to do. We're here to learn. We're here to better ourselves. We're here to help each other. And if we all did that, I think that the world would be a better place. So heal thyself. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody, for listening. I, I don't know what else to include in this video. I feel like I have more to say, but I'm just going to end it here. So, ciao.